الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله fasting as we mentioned is a means to attaining taqwa azza wa jalla as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says kutiba alaykum siyam kama kutiba alladhina min qablakum la'allakum tattaqun fasting has been prescribed for you similar to the way it's been prescribed for those who came before you la'allakum tattaqun in order that you would gain taqwa fasting is also a means for entering jannah it is a means for entering Jannah and special places in Jannah, special doors in paradise which are reserved strictly for the people who fasted. This is why it's important to fast, of course, the wajib. We all must, uh, it's our obligatory duty. But to fast uh, uh, the Nawafal, you know, whenever you can, Mondays and Thursday, Ayama Bayd, which is the 13th. Uh, 14th and 15th of the Hijri calendar every month <clears throat> and you know as much as possible Yom Ashura and uh, uh, and in Dhul Hijjah uh, Yom Arafat and so forth so fast as much as possible because these are a means for you to attain paradise in the hadith of Sahl ibn Sa'ad radiallahu ta'ala an qal قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إن في جنة باب يقال له ريان يدخل منها يدخل منه الصائمون يوم القيامة لا يدخل منه أحد غيرهم يقال أين الصائمون فيقومون لا يدخل منه أحد غيرهم فإذا دخل آخرهم أغلقوا فلم يدخل منه أحد وفي رواية في في الجنة ثمانية أبواب فيها باب يسمى ريان لا يدخله إلا صائم. <coughs> and this is in uh, Bukhari. أحبت في الله in this uh, hadith it shows us that there is a there are doors or there's a door called a rayan in Jannah which is reserved for those people who fast and in the hadith the Prophet وسلم, said verily in Jannah there is a door and it is called a rayan he said the fasting people will enter it on the day of judgment no one will enter it ex uh, except them. And it will be said, where are those people who fast? And then they will stand. And no one will enter it except them. And if the last person from them enters it, the door will be locked and no one else will enter it. And in the other narration, which is in Bukhari, in Jannah, there are eight doors, and there is a door called a Rayan. No one will enter it except those people who fast. So this is something specific for those people who fast. So this is an encouragement for us to, of course, benefit is uh, the full benefit of the Holy Month of Ramadan. Likewise, to fast outside of Ramadan. After Ramadan there's another opportunity, a blessed opportunity when the month finishes in Shawal, which is the next month on the Islamic calendar, on the Hijri calendar. <coughs> and the Prophet Sallallahu said in this regard, مَنْ صَامَ رَمَضَانَ ثُمَّ اِتْبَعْهُ سِتَّ مِنْ شَوَالْ كَانَ كَسَيَّمَ الدَّهَرْ That whoever fasts the holy month of Ramadan then follows it with the six days with six days of shawal it is if he fasted if he or she fasted the whole year so the reward is immense and the reward we can't even begin to count 
And which one of you does not want to enter into the Bab al-Rayyan with the Sa'imin? And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and forgive us of our many sins and bless us with ikhlas with thabat and bless us to be the Sa'imin or the Sa'imun uh, Yom Al-Qiyamah who enter the Bab al-Rayyan and us and our families and the Muslims in general and may Allah forgive us of our many, many sins. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم